I nearly died. Genuinely, yesterday was the closest I ever came to death in my entire life. And I want you to understand that I am the best of the best. The only reason I am breathing is because I'm a fucking ice cold professional. Any of you watching this video, if you were in the same situation I was in, would be dead. I say with 1000% confidence, I don't know any other motherfucker alive who could have done what I did yesterday. I'm that good. So I'm driving. Now, if you, you, it's hard to explain how Romanian roads work, but it's a, it's a dual carriageway going up a mountain. So when you're coming, there's three lanes on mountains. The lane coming down is one lane, but the lane coming up the mountains is always two lanes because the trucks go very slowly. They move to the side. So I'm going up the mountain. Coming down the mountain is gridlock, gridlock traffic, gridlock. So I'm behind the truck. It breaks into two lanes. The truck goes to the slow lane. I come to the fast lane. I'm in the 911 Turbo 992. Boom. I floor it. Bang. I'm about 120 miles an hour going up the mountain. Some fucking idiot. Idiot. From, comes round the bend. Coming directly at me head on. The other way. So he's in my lane. He's on my side of traffic because his traffic's gridlocked. And he's flooring his Ferrari 812 super fast. 150 miles an hour, going, heading at traffic in the wrong direction. So when we go around the corner and I see him, when the Ferrari first appeared, please, I say this without exaggeration, without bravado. I'm driving my car, I go around the corner, and the Ferrari is there. Right fucking there in front of me. Bam! 812. Now, this is fucking death. Head on, 911 Turbo, 812 super fast, head on. Bang! Head on! There's no fucking surviving that. Even me, with all my supreme strength, would struggle to survive. This fucking guy was going to kill us both. He's, in my, he's on my side of the road. 150 miles per hour at traffic. Fucking absolutely unbelievable. So when the Ferrari appears, let me tell you what amateurs do, because you're all amateurs. I'm a fucking professional. Amateurs always do the same thing in cars. When something happens that they're unsure about or they don't like, they press the brake. Now, I can tell you this because when I drive the way I drive, I drive very fast, but I don't drive on the wrong fucking side of the road. But when I drive very fast and I'm zipping in and out of cars, let's say there's a person in the car and they see me behind in the rear view zipping in and out very quickly, they start to panic because they see a Lambo coming up out of nowhere and they press the brake, even though there's nothing in front of them. Because somebody's coming up behind them really quickly, they just press the brake. People press the brake. That's what they do. In this scenario, if I would have touched the brake, it's over. There's no time. You cannot brake. The Ferrari is, without exaggeration, I could see the man's face. The Ferrari was so fucking close. The Ferrari is there. There's no time to brake. Brake what? So I'm driving. Ferrari appears. And I'll give you, this is real world. I'm driving. Ferrari, in fact, it was a left-hand turn. Driving, left-hand turn, Ferrari proof, and I fucking hard, bang, full right lock the, the Porsche 911 and lose control of the car. This is why I'm the best. I'm saying this without bravado. I mean this. What I did yesterday was fucking legendary. If, it was, if I had a dash cam, it would be a, mil, a billion hits on YouTube. I'm, I'm having dash cams installed in every car tomorrow. I fucking full lock the Porsche right, lose control of the Porsche. As I'm fighting to regain control of the Porsche, I'm heading for the concrete barrier. While I'm fighting to regain control of the Porsche, I glance at my rear view and I see him. He's lost control of the Ferrari. This is the difference. I regain control of my car without hitting anything. Regain control of my car without hitting anything. He slid off into a truck. Now, that's not the end of the fucking story because I was furious. This motherfucker almost killed me. And this is a thank you to Romania because my network and connections in Romania are unrivaled. I put the following videos on Instagram and offered a 5,000 euro cash reward. And within a few hours, we had located this idiot. We had found him and we found his car. This shows that money talks. We found him, we found his car. And I left a note on his car telling him he's a stupid bitch. And if he continues to drive that way, he's going to regret it. Because if I hear, see any more stories, I'm taking it personal about this guy risking the lives of fucking families and children driving head on into traffic, I'll fucking deal with him myself. I'm a fucking professional. If there was anyone else in my position, that person would have died. My only regret is that this guy doesn't hit a fucking tree. I want him to hit a tree and be gone. 
The guy is fucking dangerous. Unreal. Unreal levels of stupidity. Because there's money. Yes, you can have money, but you still must have a brain. And people like this are a fucking liability. He can kill... You listen. Kill me. That would be devastating. Kill a fucking family or some children. If there was a woman driving. Unbelievable.